quick note, this video is thankfully sponsored by Altium. And also thank you to you for watching these videos where we talk about electronics and PCB design. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly use Altium Designer to improve the signal integrity on your traces on your printed circuit board uh, to make sure you get rid of any reflections on your traces. So let's get into it. But before we do that, if you don't have Altium Designer, you can use the link in the description below and get the Altium free trial. Use my special link. So, uh, people know that it's through my link okay do that and then when you use the link you can go to it'll take you here and then you answer a couple questions use an email that you can easily access and then you'll get an email within minutes maybe less than a minute for the Altium free trial and you get to use it free for two weeks and then you can follow along you get all the cool features that I'm going to show you uh, in the videos and one of them being in this video is signal integrity. So let's go ahead and do it. I have a nice design open here with the Xilinx Spartan IIE PQ208 and I'm going to go to the tools. This is all you have to do. Just go to tools, signal integrity. Whether you have your traces routed on the PCB or not, you'll still be able to do simulation and signal integrity analysis. How does that even work? Well, Altium uses the Manhattan distance between one pin to another pin to estimate the trace. But anyway, let's go into model assignments. Here's the crazy thing. In Altium, you don't have to have uh, on hand IBIS models for every single device. Altium has some libraries that it has installed and it takes a guess on the models it can assign to your parts in your design. It's pretty cool. So here you can select all the parts that you want to uh, have updated for their simulation models for signal integrity in the schematic. Now you don't have to select all of these one by one. You can do a right click, enable update all, and then you can disable some things. So I'm going to disable these ones that have issues. But even before I do that, you can actually uh, double click on any of these devices and then set the description, set a new model name, set up the part array, define whether it's going to be an IC, a resistor, an inductor. So you have very nice control. But in any case, let's not let's not update these ones that are going to have issues. Hold down the shift key and then I'm going to select up to here. Right click, disable, update selected. Now I'm going to update models in my schematic. Fantastic then I will analyze the design. So see, there's some action going on down here. It's sending component information at the bottom. Sending pin information. All right. Now I'm curious about a signal for what's going into my LCD, right? I mean, it's not a huge issue, but any critical signals you care about, you can look at it. I'm going to go with the LCD uh, DB7 and then here, there are some designators for the pins and the direction. Now, here's the really powerful thing I like about this. You can choose no termination in your analysis, which is, which is what we want to see. Once this trace is routed, DB7, especially if it's routed, um, is it going to have signal reflections or not? You can, uh, before I even get to the termination types, let's see how it behaves. So do a reflection waveform. Let's move that out of the way. And this is how it behaves. Yeah. And it says no termination. So we got a little bit of that reflection waviness going on, right? A little bit of that ramp up kind of thing. That bit of craziness there. So what happens if we use a termination resistor? You could play with this. You can say, oh, well, I want to I want to add a series termination resistor which shows the little graphic here which is great but there are also other termination types there are at least five types of termination you can do all of them have their benefits and drawbacks for power consumption versus cost versus effectiveness versus but one of the most cost effective and reliable ones is a series termination so I'm going to go with that check mark it and notice you can of the range here, or you can use a suggested range, right? You could set your own range based on your signal integrity uh, calculations. But anyway, 
let's do the suggested, do reflection waveform again. And now we see that with the termination, well, yes, with the termination here, series resistance determination value one, two, three, four, because it steps through them. It's, you see the result. This is the benefit of series termination or any of the termination types. You know, what if you use something else? What if you use parallel termination? How does this look? So let's do reflection waveform analysis. You can iterate through this and see which one is best for your needs uh, and most cost effective or use. You can take advantage of power rails that you're already using or, you know, things like that. So I just wanted to show that to you. If you have Altium, of course, you know, just go ahead, try it. It works for pre layout simulation and post layout, and you can save your simulation results. And of course, if you find that you can get rid of reflections, actually put the series termination resistor in there. All right. And now once you're ready to submit your PCB manufacturing files, but you want to share them, first with other people to get their feedback on it you can take them uh, you can upload your files to altium.com slash viewer and this is a free online viewer different from the offline viewer which is also free once you upload you get some kind of embedded thing where you can put that into a website and it looks very nice okay all right so that's what i wanted to show you these are these are ways if you're not necessarily an expert at signal integrity or anything like that that's okay uh, you can play with these different values and simulation for any of the nets on your design altium really helps you the interface is powerful all right so that's all i've got to say on this thank you so much if you have any questions about what more you can do in here because there's a lot more you can do fpga pin assignments this and that uh, leave them in the comments section below and you know leave your comment and your questions and uh, let us know your experience with Altium or other software tools you might use to do signal integrity and analysis. All right. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great uh, rest of the day and um, peace.